Here are the future of transportation. Let's get started. Bill Wither has introduced a groundbreaking flying car model called the Bell Weather Avtol, challenging the traditional stereotypes associated with aircraft design. This innovative model rejects the conventional features of fixed wings and external propellers, challenging the prejudice that electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft are merely smaller versions of traditional airplanes. The third generation aircraft named Oryx featured a distinctive airframe design that set it apart from its predecessors and showcases advancements in technology. Initially designed to accommodate one pilot and two passengers for specific purposes, the Oryx is expected to cater to up to four passengers in future generations. Key to its design is a concealed propulsion system, and the aircraft is estimated to have dimensions of 6.2 meters in length and 3.8 meters in width, slightly larger than sports utility vehicle. With a cruise speed of 140 kilometers per hour, the Oryx can complete a journey from Hearthrow Airport to Canary Wharf in just 8 minutes, a significant time and improvement compared to the 50 to 100 minutes it would take by far. In addition to this aviation development, we introduced the Airspace Cabin Vision 2035 Plus, emphasizing the importance of sustainability in aviation. It highlights the progress made in reducing the industry's carbon footprint and Airbus commitment to connecting current and future generations through environmentally conscious aviation. Furthermore, the MG Maze concept car is presented as an urban mobility solution designed to provide a unique experience for the next generation. Rooted in the principles of play, discovery, and adventure, the compact and futuristic concept car can offer a gaming-like experience with its open cockpit layout and vertical opening polycarbonate shell canopy. Users can control and access the car through their phones, and a sophisticated user interface overlays digital content into the environment, creating an immersive experience for occupants. The Norte Electric Concept Glider introduces a two-seated sailplane designed around a sharing system, facilitating both independent pilots and gliding clubs. This innovative system aims to remove barriers between pilots and clubs, providing easy access to gliders. The Norte is equipped with a self-starting electric engine for propulsion and a tail trigger undercarriage, enabling pilots to operate the glider without additional assistance. Designed with safety in mind, the Norte features a comprehensive safety package that includes both active and passive safety features, minimizing potential damage. The goal is to offer the pilot optimal protection, considering the latest accident reports and incorporating advanced safety measures available in the market. The entire gliding experience has been reimagined, aligning with safety aspects and pilot needs. On a different note, the BMW Motorrad Spirit concept envisions the future of motorcycle as an intelligent and symbiotic relationship between human and machine. Inspired by BMW's Motorrad success, this project explores the possibility of future technology in the motorcycle industry. Although currently presented as a digital representation, the concept aims to create a connection that goes beyond visual geometry. While the motorcycle retains a recognizable shape, the BMW Motorrad Spirit concept diverges significantly from traditional designs. The skeletal frame stands out, emphasizing a departure from conventional motorcycle aesthetics. The project invites enthusiasts to dream about the potential future advancements in motorcycle technology even if the current representation remains in the digital realm. Space Perspective aims to offer tourists an extraordinary experience by taking them on balloon rides to the stratosphere. The company is gearing up for test flights of its new spaceship, Neptune, which could commence early this year. The Neptune spaceship is designed to accommodate a pilot and eight passengers in a luxurious setting. The capsule includes amenities such as seats, a bar, a bathroom, and large windows that provide breathtaking views of Earth set against the backdrop of space. Representatives of the company have highlighted that the entire spaceship Representatives of the company have highlighted the entire experience on spaceship Neptune is intended to be stylish and comfortable. During the journey, Spaceship Neptune will spend approximately 2 hours ascending to a maximum altitude of 100,000 feet or 30,000 meters. The ascent will be facilitated by a 650 foot tall or 200 meters balloon filled with buoyant hydrogen, gently pulling the spacecraft upward. Switching gears, we introduce the concept of the fire truck of the future. Traditionally, fire trucks have been predominantly red, equipped with flashing lights, bells, whistles, and sirens. While the external appearance may seem unchanged, advancements in technology have propelled fire trucks into the future. 
the potential advancements in technology have propelled fire trucks into the future. The potential evolution of fire trucks, considering innovations, changes in standards like the NFPA 1901 standard of automotive fire apparatus, and the impact of government regulations. There's ongoing speculation in the regulatory world about the feasibility of autonomous fire trucks, considering the advancements in autonomous vehicles. This suggests contemplating whether it's practical for a fire truck to operate without human intervention. The concept of autonomous operation may be not far-fetched, especially when considering technologies like pressure governors during pumping operations. Smart carriers, also referred to as autonomous ground vehicles or mobile robots, are designed specifically for use in airport environments. These innovative vehicles leverage autonomous technology to streamline airport operations, enhancing efficiency. Equipped with a variety of sensors, cameras, lidar, GPS, and advanced software algorithms, they can navigate and perform tasks without requiring human intervention. These sensors include cameras for visual recognition, lidar for 3D mapping, ultrasonic sensors for object detection, and more. To ensure safety, smart carriers feature advanced collision avoidance systems and real-time monitoring, safeguarding passengers, employees, and other equipment in their vicinity. Virgin Hyperloop, part of Richard Branson's Virgin Empire, is pioneering a new transportation mode that connects cities at speeds of up to 670 miles per hour or 1,070 kilometers per hour. Utilizing electric propulsion and electromagnetic levitation under near vacuum conditions, the Hyperloop aims to provide a faster, safer, cheaper, and more sustainable alternative to existing modes of transportation. The company, having conducted passenger tests, envisions this technology as a means to equal the speed of air travel and expand travel opportunities for the masses. Despite varying ticket prices depending on the route, a recent study suggests that Hyperloop fares would be more comparable to cost of driving than flying. The Avant Solo Electric Sports Car, developed collaboratively by Avant Design and High Performance Learning, is an advanced electric single-seater vehicle. Functioning as a visual study, Solo aims to showcase advanced design and visualization capabilities. The design emphasizes the creative aspect of connected driving and its potential to influence the emotional bond between the driver and the machine. Inspired by the principles of unity, Solo's design combines classic proportion with contemporary service language, resulting in a dramatic and classic silhouette reminiscent of race cars from the 1930s and 1940s. The Airspace Cabin Vision 2035 initiative addresses the environmental impact of aviation, recognizing that currently, aviation contributes to 2.5% of man-made emissions. While significant progress has been made since the 1980s to reduce carbon footprint of the industry, the journey towards sustainability is ongoing. Airbus is committed to connecting the present and the future, aiming to ensure that upcoming generations benefit from aviation as much as the current ones. The focus is on the cabin, which contributes to 10 to 20 percent of the overall environmental impact of an aircraft. Recognizing the growing importance of sustainability in travel, research indicates that 80 percent of companies incorporate sustainable travel policies, and 40 percent of travelers and 40 percent of travelers are willing to pay for CO2 neutral tickets. To achieve these goals, Airbus has outlined three pillars supported by a clear roadmap collaboratively developed with key industry players. The initiative underscores the commitment to address the environmental impact of aviation through strategic efforts and collaboration within the industry.